guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sonia for those who do not know welcome to those who are new and welcome back to those who have been watching my videos for a little bit in today's video I wanted to talk about different nursing specialties that I'd be interested in besides the unit that I or the specialty that I'm in now a level 3 NICU unit you know when you've kind of been like in your job for a little bit and you're like hmm what else is out there? I don't plan on leaving the NICU anytime soon, so let me not get ahead of myself, but I always think about different specialties I would eventually like to try because that is the beauty of nursing. You can go to any specialty that you want. It's not like being a PA or it's not like being a doctor. With the specialty that you pick, you have to be stuck. So I've currently been in the NICU for about a year now, my level three NICU, and I absolutely love it. If you guys wanna watch the video about my one year update, I kinda of go into detail about it as well as like, I think my 10 months of being a NICU nurse. I have a whole bunch of videos on that, but today is all about specialties. So if you guys are interested in things like that, let's get right into this video and we'll talk more about it. All right, so my first one would be, and I don't even know if this really counts or if I'm kind of cheating, but I would say I would like to be in a level four NICU. I'm currently in a level three, I love it. It's just sometimes I feel like it would be cool if I can take care of the most critical kids Ever. like there is nothing above a level four NICU so I think that that would be something that I'd be interested in it always be testing my skills and it just be it would be very intense because it's like an ICU obviously same thing as a level two or a level three but a level four I just feel like it is something different a lot of the times with the level three unit that I'm in if the cases are too severe or too sick or they need surgeries that we don't do at my hospital, then they end up going to a level four unit and they get transferred out. I think I would like to assist with procedures and things like that for a lot of the kids that we do send out because at my hospital, we, with the level three, we assist with CERCs and we assist with laser eye surgery and things like that. But all of the ECMO and all of that extra razzle dazzle with the really, really, really critical kids, we don't really do, we send them somewhere else. So I think that a level four NICU would be really cool. Right now I'm a year in, so maybe a little bit later down the line in my career, once I feel really confident with a level three, then I think that I would like to go to a level four NICU. I don't know if that one counts or not, but I'm gonna put it in here anyway. And then the next one that I think that I would like to do would be PEDS. I know myself as a person and as a nurse, and I am just, a person who likes to take care of babies and children. Adults are cool. I did my clinicals and everything like that, but I'm not like a adult med surge or an adult ICU. Maybe down the line, I'm talking like this now, but maybe I'll watch back this video in a few years and be like, what was I thinking? I love adults. But I like the neonate world, the pediatric world. That's just what I like. So I would like to go into pediatrics probably eventually. Specialties that interest me there would really just being a med surge or it would be a PICU. So if I already do neonates now, why not do sick children from the age of zero to 18? I feel like that would be something interesting. You would see something different every single day. And another unit that I think that would interest me would be like peds oncology or even outpatient clinics, like maybe peds, diabetic, endocrine, ENT, things like that. Maybe just pediatric clinics later down the line. But I know that I really like babies and I really like children and to be the one that helps them get better and to feel better, I feel like I just go home feeling great that day if the situation is wonderful. Of course, being in pediatrics, just being in healthcare in general, you do not always have a happy-go-lucky day like your patient had the best day of their life. But I think me working with children is something that I would really enjoy. And there's so many hospitals all around America that specifically takes care of children's like hospitals of children you know what i mean so that would be my second one would be anything in pediatrics like med surge oncology clinics or even a pick you because if i'm already doing critical skill now it's on neonates think about the critical skills that you will learn being in a pick you a pediatric intensive care unit like it just blows my mind i feel like there's so much that you need to know about neonates to have to know about pediatrics and from the age of zero to 18 would be crazy. So I would say peds and pick you. I'll put this as the same one. Moving on to number three, I would say the emergency room, but not with adults. No, 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 no. With peds. I think that that's another thing that I would really like. I always, when I went down to school or when I was in school, I was able to shadow the ED when I went down for clinical and I did it for like a shift 
or whatever a clinical day which i think was like five hours but i really enjoyed it the hardest part i feel like would be for me is that you don't really get to hear the stories of what happens to those people once they're gone once they're transferred up to a unit or once they're discharged things like that when i feel like in the NICU that i'm at currently you kind of get to follow their stories like the parents post on our page and you get to find out about how they're doing and you see them on like their fourth birthday or for me it hasn't been that long but like their first birthday and everything like that is just wild but I think to get some on-hand critical skills again would be awesome and the ED is just fast paced. I feel like you always got to be on the go. Your mind has to be there. You have to be able to think on your feet. And I think that that's something that I really enjoy like a pediatric ER. Ooh, that just sounds cool. Like your 12 hour shifts would go by so fast because ERs are so, so, so busy. Yeah, that one just sounds awesome. Pediatric ER. Dope. All right, let's move on to the next one. So the next one that I would also be interested in would be the OR, but of course it would be for pediatrics population because I always liked the OR even when I was in school and I was shadowing, I was like, wow, this is a, such a different type of nursing, but I feel like it's something that I can enjoy and I would like. One of the reasons why I didn't end up picking OR when I first graduated was because I feel like the temperament or the attitudes of some surgeons won't mesh well with me. Like you're not about to disrespect me just because you are who you are in the OR and I am who I am, which I'm just up there with you. Like do not treat me as a lesser man. So that was the reason why I decided not to do it straight out of school, especially with me being a brand new nurse. I feel like they would have some reason to feel a certain type of way, but something that has always interested me would be a pediatric OR because being that type of nurse, their shifts are sometimes awesome. They're like six to three cool maybe five days a week maybe four days a week depending on how it is or some shifts could be like seven to seven which would be cool you do a lot of charting you work closely with a lot of the techs and then you also work with the surgeons as well while you're in the surgery i feel like helping with sterile field would be nice doing time outs making sure you are the one that makes sure everything goes smoothly like you are the runner in that or and i feel like that is a different type of nursing and a type of nursing that i actually would like um i feel like i've been told that those jobs are hard to come by but listen anyone who tells me that i can't do something literally i will show you and i would do it and just because you can't do it don't mean i can't do that and i feel like that's the attitude that a lot of people need to have when they're new nurses or just trying to switch specialties do not listen to what other people say all you have to do is try and if it doesn't work out okay it didn't work out but all they can do is say no so yeah, I'm pretty sure that would be it. That would be a level four NICU, PED such as like a PICU or like a med surge unit or any type of clinic, a pediatric ER or pediatric OR. And oh, another specialty I would be interested in, which is the wave right now, literally the wave. What do they call it? Oh, or being an aesthetic nurse. Now that is the population I will work with adults. That is a specialty that I will work with adults. Aesthetic nursing is really a big thing now. A lot of people and a lot of nurses are going into it. You're able to get certificates to be able to do fillers, Botox, this, that, and the third. A lot of nurses are opening up their own like brands, their own clinics, because nurses are able to do that in certain states. You may need someone above you. You may be fine by yourself. It's just state dependent. But that is a specialty. Listen, that is one of the coolest specialties I think ever. Like they do cool sculpting. They do IV hydration. They do fillers, Botox. Just because you work in that field doesn't mean that you have to get all of that done or get Botox done, but I just think that is an awesome part of nursing and it's really the wave right now and maybe it's a wave that people are going to be jump off, jumping on more often than they would any other job. I guess it would be more fulfilling in a sense that someone feels beautiful or feels better about themselves rather than in the hospital when people are actually sick. So that may be a different type of nursing and a different like mindset and a positive mindset rather than dealing with death and turmoil and I guess things like that. But those would be my specialties. I left the list up here on while we were going through all of them. So I hope that that was helpful, but let's get to close out this video. All right, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video, a little bit something different. I wanted to just sit down and give my opinions on some specialties that I think would interest me. I'm sure there's plenty more out there, but those are just the ones that stuck into my head and that I do research on when I'm kind of like been a nurse for a little bit. And I'm like, hmm, 
What else is out there? Again, don't plan on leaving the NICU anytime soon, but it's good to know that there are options and other things that you may be open to trying out there. All you can do is try. If it ends up not working, do it for a year and then go somewhere else. That is the beauty of nursing. And right now nurses are in control and we are literally unstoppable, okay? I love being a lady in nursing or a woman in nursing. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Comment down below other nursing specialties that you guys would be interested in and let me know what you're in currently. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Watch more videos if you want to. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video. Bye, beautiful.